Hello, this is Joe Pryor, the virtual real estate team in Oklahoma City, and I want to give you an update here at the 1st of August about what's going on in the market. Um, you know, it's going to sound a little bit like a repetition of the, what we talked about the last time, which is an inventory shortage, prices going up uh, considerably, uh, but things are changing just a little bit. I, I think people are getting a little bit more savvy and a little bit more careful about what they're bidding on when they're going and getting into this auction mentality about homes and going, well, maybe I shouldn't go quite that high. Now, the other thing that's happening, uh, which is very, very helpful, is a fairly strong increase in the amount of homes that are coming on the market, especially existing homes, homes that are already constructed. Now, new homes are still catching up and we still have an issue with that, especially in popular price ranges but it's making it better uh, to have more variety and therefore that supply and demand starts to get a little bit more equal. And so that's very, very positive. Now, economically, um, we think this is gonna go on for a while. First of all, the Oklahoma City economy is very, very strong. Uh, it, uh, unemployment keeps going down. It was 3.9%, we think it's about 37 uh, at this point in reducing. That's something we're seeing nationwide also. Uh, a lot of developments going on still in Oklahoma City, which is very, very positive. Uh, we still have some shortages of uh, materials, although that's catching up. Uh, prices are coming down on materials, so we're not seeing these dramatic increases like we were. Uh, there's a little bit of a labor shortage. We, there is so much residential and commercial construction going on that there's just not enough people here, not enough you know, subcontractors to do all the work. And so that has slowed things down just a little bit in terms of getting new construction on the market. But we're seeing some very, very positive trends. We're seeing that interest rates are staying low and, and that's a real key factor. Uh, if interest rates stay low and the economy keeps moving in the way that it is right now with oil being up, and by the way, there's been a thousand percent increase in the cost of natural gas. We're really starting to see this electricity production really ramping up. These are two very, very important things that create a tremendous amount of tax revenue for Oklahoma City. That and everything else going on is making this a very, very powerful city. And even though prices are going up, we are the fourth most affordable city in the United States, over a million in the metro area. So even though prices are going up, it is not so considerable that the affordability index, which means, can I really qualify for a loan? Uh, is that something that, that I can still do? And that is happening. And those owner occupants are helping out my existing investors that have been buying for years. Of course, they're very, very happy. However, I'm gonna talk about in another video about what's going on in the rental market if the prices are going up as much as they are. So we know appreciation has been standard in Oklahoma and very regulated uh, with about a three to 4% per year. We're seeing 6% and more at this point. We don't think that's going to stop for the immediate future. We think we've got a good five year run. Uh, I don't want to go beyond that because it's very, very difficult even to do five years, but the market conditions economically are fantastic. The city is still open. Housing is booming, more inventory coming on the market. These are all positive signs. I'm very encouraged for the rest of the year.